Hey, this is Alton coming back to you, and I wanted to bring you something that's the most asked question about what can the Volvo XC90 do. And part of that is actually doing the semi-autonomous pilot. Now you can actually see a little bit of the road to where we have lines, which are actually spotted. Now if I set the cruise, which is just pressing the center button here, that sets it. Once it's set, sorry, it's not gonna set because I don't have on my seatbelt. So you have to have on your seatbelt in order to actually do the cruise control in a Volvo XC90. If I actually set it by using the center button here, it's set, I can control my distance that I want to follow the car in front of me. Now we're actively in cruise mode now, which is why it's actually following the car, and I don't have to have my foot on the brake nor the gas, because it's going to mimic the car in front of me, whether it slows down, which it's doing now, my vehicle is slowing down, and in addition, it's also going to speed up when that car speeds up. So, not touching the gas pedal or the brake pedal, and we're actively following the car behind in front of us. So as we start to proceed, I'm eventually going to let go of the stern wheel, and with the semi-autonomous pilot, it's going to keep me dead smack in the center lane. So we're coming, you can see my speed, which is 50 miles per hour. As soon as we do the curve, I'm going to release the stern wheel. It's going to keep me the equal distance in, uh, behind the car in front of me, and it's going to keep me in my lane. We're preparing to come out of the curve. Now notice a little bit of the traffic in front of me. I've got cars beside me, I've got cars in front of me, and cars behind me. So if I come here, I'm going to adjust my speed limit by going up. Now I'm 65. We're out of the curve and release the stern wheel. I'm going to follow the car in front of me and with no hands on the stern wheel, it keeps me pretty much darn near in the smack dead center of my lane. Now, notice, notice the traffic. Cars beginning to slow down. Now, typically it doesn't allow you to do this without release, with releasing the steering wheel for so long, but eventually it will actually alert me that my hands aren't on the steering wheel and it will actually make it to my attention to grab the steering wheel. Now, the car just proceeded, got over, car speeds up, there's another car in front of me, so it's gonna begin to brake again. Now I'm going to grab it there, sorry about that. I'm going to grab it simply because coming up on a curve, it won't hold me in my lane. It will eventually allow me to drift off coming on a curve. So whatever you do, don't do it on a curve. When you hit the straightaways, you are fine. But just to show you, this is a soft curve. Now our release, sorry, got to set again. So our release is actively set. You can see the dotted line, see the tilt of the steering wheel tilted me back in my lane. Now we're coming up. It's keeping me in my lane without me touching the steering wheel. Well, that was a rough one there, but it kept me in. So light curves, you should be fine. We're coming up on another one right here. Let's see exactly what it does. Speed limit of the road, okay, kick me out because I had the steering wheel released for too long. And you can actually see driver alert, time for a brake soon because I'm not, my habits that I'm using now are displaying or different from the habits from when I took off. So once again, I'm gonna go back into cruise and let the vehicle do its own semi-autonomous piloting. So we're back into cruise, release the steering wheel. Now it's not gonna pick up speed because the car in front of me isn't going any faster, but at the same time, it's not gonna allow me to leave my lane and it's gonna mimic the car in front of it. And by the way, we're here in Charlotte, North Carolina. You can see the city in the backdrop there. Independence Boulevard, one of the main arteries here. Very nice weather, about 75 degrees. Light curve. Now it's actually me to apply the steering because eventually it will allow me to go out if I don't, but it actually hung into the curve. So there you go. That is the semi-autonomous driving. You can see standby is actually kicked back in. Now it's gonna ask me to take control of the steering wheel. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use this exit to get off and I'm gonna come right back to you with another short video on the lane keeping aid.